A Jane Doe who was unknown to the world for 20 years finally has a proper headstone. Peggy Lynn Johnson Schrader was 23 years old when her body was found just dumped in a cornfield back in 1999. Investigators identified her just last month. Mary Jo Ola explains how the community continues to honor Peggy. On a bitterly cold morning, this moment, 20 years in the making, finally happened. It's a sad day, um, it, it, but it's a proud day as well. A former Jane Doe got a proper headstone, identifying her as Peggy Lynn Johnson Schrader. I couldn't imagine if that was my daughter having her be here with a, a, you know, a piece of paper that says her name on it. Uh, that's, there's no dignity, there's no respect to that. Members of the Racine County Sheriff's Office, their pastor, and a couple of strangers came together to honor Peggy. She was just 23 years old when a passerby found her body in a Racine County cornfield. Peggy had been brutally beaten. For two decades, her identity remained a mystery. Being unidentified, she had no family. No one knew who she was, so we felt like, you know, I'll be your family for now. Selena Sura visited this gravesite for the past 15 years. She felt compelled to see the old headstone give way to a new one. It was absolutely amazing uh, to see it actually on stone and not just on the written piece of paper. The sheriff wants to eventually move Peggy from this cemetery to Belvedere, Illinois, so that she can be buried next to her mother. He also wants to get Peggy's mother a respectable headstone, but the effort will take money. And talking with her, just the last few surviving family members that she have has, they wanted her move next to her mother. Um, it, that, again, seems to be the right thing to do. Those were their wishes. They can't afford to do it themselves. Racine County's sheriff is calling on the community to help raise $4,000 to get everything done by Peggy's birthday, March 4th. Meanwhile, Linda LaRoche, the woman accused of abusing and killing Peggy, is still in Florida waiting for extradition. Mary Joola, today's TMJ4.